switch. Yo, what's good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Benny K here, and welcome to FIFA 19 Squad Builder. Now today we are going to be focusing on building the best BPL team in FIFA 19. So, strap yourselves in, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. So the formation we're going to go with today is 4-4-2, a pretty standard formation. And the first player we're going to introduce to the squad is our goalkeeper, Allison. This guy has got 82 diving, 81 handling, 85 kicking, 88 reflexes, and 83 positioning, along with him being 6 foot three. I would personally say that this guy is probably one of the best, if not the best goalkeeper in the BPL in FIFA 19. I'm probably exaggerating, but I digress. The next person we're going to go with is our first defender, and his name is Valencia. 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 79 defending, 79 physical, and 76 passing. Along with him having a higher work rate in both attacking and defensive, that just makes a lot of things so much easier when it has that sort of trait within his arsenal. You know, just, just saying. He fits the criteria of being the best right back in the BPL so far. I'm I'm actually probably a little bit exaggerating, but either way, moving on to our center back. Now onto our right center back, we have got Eric Bailey or Bailey or Baba Tunde. I don't freaking know. He, he, anyway, he has got 74 pace, 82 defending, and 82 physical. Along with him being six foot two, that is completely awesome. He wins a lot of headers for me. He's strong. He can defend. He can intercept. He is just what you want in a center back position. So I do highly recommend him. Now on to our second center back playing on the left side. We have our first special card. His name is Socrates. 72 pace, 86 defending, 84 physical, 6 foot 1, high work rate in defensive. He works perfectly in the team and he actually doesn't even go for that much. Now moving on to our final defender in the game or the final defender in the squad, not game because I'm talking in general, we have Robertson. Now as you can see I have not played any games with him, we're going to be using him, he's going to make his debut in the squad but other than that looking at his stats, he has got 85 pace, 77 dribbling. 80 defending, 76 physical, 74 passing, has high work rate in both attacking and defensive. He works wonders and I think he's probably going to be a great addition to the Dragon's Lair FC squad. I don't even know why I call it Dragon's Lair, I'm probably just taking inspiration off of Blue Kang and Mortal Kombat. But either way, now we're moving on to our midfield. Now the first player that I'm going to introduce is probably my favourite right mid in the game in general and I'm, to, I'm talking in general not just bpl i'm talking in general he is lucas 92 pace 74 shooting 75 passing 85 to, ugh, sorry 85 dribbling and four star skills when using him in order to attack the way i just apply my skills in you know berbatov spin you know magidi spin and roulettes and all that stuff he feels so smooth when it comes to that and the fact that I'm able to just destroy the living crap out of everyone and, and laugh about it known to the fact that I just did some sick skill moves with him brings a lot of joy to my heart. Kind of. But either way, now up on center mid position we have Jesse Lingard. This guy right here, he's not too bad of a center mid. I converted him to that. I mean, he plays originally as a, a cam, a center attacking mid. Uh, but I converted him, converted him down to a centre mid because I wanted to have a pretty decent uh, centre mid in terms of attacking. And he sort of fits that boat, but either way, he has 81 pace, 78 shooting, 76 passing, 84 dribbling, and 4 star skills. So, so far he's not bad. I'd say he's more of an assist player than he is more or less an attacking player. Defensive, he's kind of meh, 
but if you want to get him, by all means. The next player we're going to go with is our second special card in the squad, and his name is Lufus Cheek, or Check, or yeah, in fact, you know what? That's totally his name. <laughs> Nevertheless, he has got 75 pace, 71 shooting, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, and 82 physical, along with him being 6 foot 3 and having 4 star skills. Having someone like that in the midfield position is kind of rare, known to the fact that this person is really tall, so he's more or less able to, you know, win headers. And his strength as well isn't too bad. He's kind of like the Ibrahimovic of the team. He's tall, not so quick, he's able to do skills, and he's tall. I know I already mentioned that, but hey, I have to emphasize on how tall he is. Now we're going to move on to our final midfielder in the team, and that is Bernard. 90 pace, 83 dribbling, 69 shooting, I know I said that but I'll come back to that part in a little bit, 75 shooting, 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot and he's only 5 foot 5, that is crazy. Now back to his shooting, personally I'd say he should at least have around 78 max shooting. The fact that I'm able to score outside of the box, maybe it's just FIFA in general, but the fact that I'm able to score outside of the box with someone that has 69 shooting is completely unbelievable. Knowing to the fact that he's got the skills and the pace to make up for his height, he's able to just dominate the defense and show him who's boss. It doesn't matter on height, it just matters on skill and pace. And somewhat of shooting, which again, he needs to have more of. Now moving on to our two strikers. Introducing first, from Manchester City, weighed in at, I don't know how much he weighs, I don't know, I, I can't even check, either way, we have Gabriel Jesus, I don't know why this is like some WWE announcement or whatever thing, but either way, he has got 86 pace, 86 dribbling, 80 shooting, 72 passing, and 73 physical. He is an all-round solid player, I do absolutely love using this guy. Every time I think about making a BPL team, I always have to think about Gabriel Jesus, specifically because he is probably my, well, he's not even probably, he is my favourite striker here in this team, or maybe in general in the BPL. Kind of still get my bearings with a lot of other strikers like Vardy and all them lot. But either way, so far I'm really enjoying using Gabriel Jesus. He's really solid and he's somewhat alright in terms of making himself available in terms of positioning and stuff. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all good. And our final player, which is in form Richardson. This guy is a complete tank up in the forward position. He has got 87 pace, 82 shooting, 76 passing, 86 dribbling, and 82 physical. I don't know why I had to say and on that long pace, but hey, it, it's healthy, apparently. And he also has 5 star weak for the 4 star skills. Either way, this guy is pretty solid. I've only ever gotten him 19 games ago, as you can see on the right side. He is a complete tank and his shooting is just, it's its so freaking boss. <laughs> I'm trying my best to restrain from using beast because let's be real, every single person here in this team are complete beasts. Well ladies and gentlemen, that is my team right here. I'm not really sure how much it costs, I'll probably put like a caption on how much it all costs, um, probably at the end or I'll just put it up now or something so you guys can see it for yourself if you want to make this team. But so far, so good. This is looking pretty solid. Now let's get into a game and let me show you why. This is the best DPL team in FIFA 19.
you guys have enjoyed if so don't forget to leave a like comment down below if there's a specific team or a, or a specific league that you would like me to build in a later future i know fifa 20 is going to be coming out pretty soon but if you can let me know even before that or something somewhere in between or something like that then i'll try my best to get it done and present it to you guys either way this has been benny k and i'm signing out peace <laughs>